morning dear students i am gaurav nilay from the cambrian school today we will perform our first experiment of class 12 physics which is known as verification of ohm's law so aim of this practical is to determine the distance per centimeter of a given wire by plotting a graph of potential wire difference versus current means we have to we have to make a graph between voltage and current with uh, from this experiment okay so apparatus required of this experiment is a resistance wire means there should, uh, there should be a resistance wire a battery emitter we can also use a dc cell also or battery but uh, for today we will use battery emitter okay a voltmeter and ammeter a connecting wire and one with plug key and and sand paper okay this is our apparatus which has required which are required for this experiment and the theory of this experiment we know ohm's law we know ohm's law from the from class 10 okay what is the theory of ohm's law according to ohm's law voltage always directly proportional to current in a given circuit means potential difference will always directly proportional to the current so if we will remove directly proportional sign uh, sign so there should be a Uh, there should be a constant. So, according to this law, V is equal to R I, or we can write capital R is equal to V upon I, where capital R is a resistance, or you can say capital R is a constant known as electrical resistance of the conductor. Okay. So, this is our theory, and we have to perform it. Okay. So, friends, now we will perform this practical, which is Ohm's law, and we know about the theory. And according to theory, we have learned that voltage is directly proportional to current. And V is equal to I R, so capital R is equal to V by I. So now we will be talking about the factors which are required for this practical. Firstly, we are we are looking that there is a battery emitter, and its output DC voltage is 2 ampere, and its voltage can be also increase or decrease. This is 0, 2, 4, and to the 12 volt also. It will provide us, or you can say, it will give us DC supply. This is a an amp uh, sorry ammeter. This is in milliampere and its range is 500 so range of ammeter is 500 milliampere okay you can also change this in ampere it will be 0.5 ampere there is a voltmeter voltmeter is used for potential difference and its range is 3 volt so we can write its range this, uh, this is 3 volt and range of ammeter is 500 milliampere and this is a resistance wire with the help of ohm's law we have to find resistance of this wire and this is a rheostat rheostat is known as variable resistance and this is one way plug key okay so now the thing is that we have to find resistance of this wire so firstly we should know about the apparatus just like in milliampere just like what is the range of milliampere range of milliampere is 500 uh, 500 Okay, milliampere is 500. So least count of the ammeter. How can we find least count of the ammeter? So first reading is from zero is hundred. So we know we have learned in class tenth that how can we find its range? So hundred means its uh, its first reading is hundred and the uh, block or you can say division is ten. So hundred upon ten is equal to ten milliampere. is the unit of this milliampere and least count of the voltmeter least count of voltmeter how can we find because its first reading is 0.5 so right here 0.5 upon uh, what is the division from 0 to 0.5 is 10 also so you will get 0 uh, 0.5 upon 10 uh, 0.05 volt Okay, this is least count of voltmeter, and this is least count of ammeter. How much? Ten milliampere, or you can say zero point zero one ampere. Okay, this is least count, and what is zero correction? Because there is no error in milliampere and in voltmeter also. So there will be zero correction is zero. Zero correction is also zero. Length length of the wire between the two terminals. So this is wire. and its length we have measured with the help of uh, meter scale and we were found it is 
सेंटीमीटर ओके दिस इज नाउ वी हैव टू परफॉर्म दिस प्रैक्टिकल्स बट हाउ देर आर द टेबल फॉर द ऑब्जर्वेशन सो हाउ कैन सो नाउ वी हैव टू नो दैट हाउ कैन वी हैव टू परफॉर्म दिस प्रैक्टिकल्स सो फर्स्टली वी हैव टू स्विच स्विच ऑन फ्रॉम द मेन कनेक्शन एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो अ पावर पॉइंट नाउ स्विच ऑन पावर पॉइंट एंड दिस इज अ रियो स्टेट If we will slide Rio state, then we are looking that there are deflection in milliampere. We are looking that there are deflection in milliampere and in voltmeter also, like this. Okay, just like we are sliding, there are deflection in both, like this and like this. It means that connection is correct. so now we have to perform the activity so how we have to perform the activity we have to note down all the readings on voltmeter and on milliampere both so firstly uh, now we have to slide slowly so i am going to slide watch it just like in, now the in this condition the reading on voltmeter is it is on second point okay you can say second division so this is reading of voltmeter means second division and least count is least count of voltmeter is 0.05 so it will be 10 0.10 and its corrected value will also 0.10 okay and now on ammeter ammeter its reading is because its range is 500 milliamp milliampere keep this thing in your mind that it is in milli amp milli uh, sorry milli ampere so its value is 500 milli ampere so if uh, if we will convert it in amp uh, sorry ampere so we will found it 0.5 ampere its corrected value also 0.5 ampere how because its zero uh, error is there is no uh, error in both operators okay so this is our first reading on both now again we will slide it slowly just like again we have slowed it uh, we have slid it like this this okay now on the voltmeter its position is at on 5 division 5 division so right here 5 into least count is 0.05 it will be 0.25 okay so its corrected value also 0.25 volt and the current we are looking that uh, division is 10 12 so right here uh, its least uh, least count is what is the least count least count is 0.01 ammeter or you can say 10 milliampere so 10 into 12 means 120 converted into ammeter we will get 0.12 ampere its corrected value will also 0.12 ampere this is our second reading now for third reading slide it again slowly now note down on this position we are looking that now the division is 7 so right here 7 into least count is 0.05 so it is 0.35 okay its corrected value will also 0.35 for the ammeter we are looking that its range is 15 17 so right here 17 into least count is 10 so it will be 170 means in uh, ammeter it will be 0.17 corrected value will also 0.17 so now we have three reading okay so we can find capital r from from the all range so capital r is equal to v upon i in this in uh, for first reading v is 0.10 and uh, current is 0.5 okay so we can find r1 from here r2 r2 is 0.25 upon 0.12 and r3 is 0.35 upon 0.17 so this is r1 r2 and r3 now capital r is equal to we have to find its mean value so capital r is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 upon 3 now put all the values and find capital r so this is our uh, practicals which is related to ohms law if you will get capital r so uh, it means that resistance of this wire 
okay so this is our practicals and now you can also plot the graph between v and i okay how can you plot we know that x axis represent current and y axis represent volt so write all the values which you will find from this point okay so you can find also and uh, one thing again you can find resistance per centimeter of wire also but this is ohm's law so we have to find only resistance of the wire so this is the practicals we have uh, note down all the uh, readings there we have found here three readings and these are the operators which are required for ohm's law i hope everyone has understand thanks and keep watching for next practicals also